Dean D. Davison, LiveWeatherBlogs.com, student meteorologist here with your flood watch here for the Roanoke Valley. You can see Roanoke, Lynchburg, Danville, Mount Airy, and flash flood watch down in the Triad. This area has has gotten some good rain today, and taking a look at the information, an additional up to two inches could fall in the Roanoke Valley, and that's shown here east of the Blue Ridge mainly. here and mainly in Lynchburg has the heaviest amount of rain possibilities in the next 24 to 36 hours. We're actually looking at ending hopefully by mid by mid morning tomorrow. Surface map showing the influx of moisture here into the front. This is also a source of lift. So I want to be surprised if we get some more severe thunderstorms. We have one possible tornado that did occur. Um, in the Delmarva area, um, in the Wakefield National Weather Service area, and we'll go into that when we go into uh, severe weather probabilities. But that's what we're seeing here, and this will project itself to move north and northeast over time, and hopefully out to sea shortly. Current radar in the Roanoke area, a few areas, you know, up here near Bat Mountain to the east in Beffer County. Some heavier rainfall has been going on. Um, we've been scanning for warnings. We haven't gotten any warnings in the in the Roanoke area, but there is here and there some warnings. We're gonna go down to an area that has gotten a lot of rain. Let's take a look to see if we can get a storm total rain here for a Roanoke area. You can see here um, two to three inches of rain mainly over the Roanoke air, Roanoke Valley area. And we're gonna go further south to an area that got a lot of rain today. This area here, we're talking ten inches of rain near Wilmington, North Carolina in the Brunswick area, Brunswick Beach, we got Holden Beach down here. That whole area was in the six inch plus category for rain today and a lot of areas over nine inches of rain, so pushing ten. So they got blasted today. And taking a look at the current radar, you see a little bit a lot weaker reflectivity coming back um, on the scan now as it's all pushing its way to the north at this time. Here we go, and we're looking at the hurricane probabilities, and we got an area of disturbed weather that looks to get itself together and then move itself. This is all our computer models are showing us up the east coast, and it depends where it sits, weather, and how much rain we're going to get. And we'll show you some computer models as we speak. Here's a CMC. It shows itself with a low pressure, and as we get in the next 24 hours, it develops it, brings it up the west coast of Florida, and then the CMC brings it inland couple other models will show something a little different, but you can see it moves up the coast and that would call some more rain in areas that we do not need it now in the Piedmont of North Carolina and Virginia and South Carolina also. GFS model, here we go, also starting to get this low pressure to build. It comes over East Florida, comes up, strikes North Carolina and Virginia, moves up over to New Jersey. So. The GFS is showing a solution much a little further to the east, but much like GFDL. Here it goes, developing it, moving it up the coast, much like these other projections, in the North Carolina, into Virginia, and then up through New Jersey and, and off the coast. So here's another one that's showing this solution for a tropical system or, su or subtropical system to hit North Carolina and Virginia. And this would affect the Roanoke Valley. Here's the H wharf. Here it goes again, developing a system. This is very; these models are very cl are clicking with each other um, very well. And this turns it also into a tropical system. And ride this one's a little further to the east. It it turns it into North Carolina and then rides it along the coast. This will be a little less devastating to the inland areas and more or less a strike for Holden Beach, like got it today. Another place would be like Norfolk. Uh, Atlantic City, you know, Long Island, this could be an issue for them. This is the H Wharf model, which is a, is a hurricane model, and uh, definitely brings it close, um, and brings it close to a hurricane status. So this is something we definitely got to watch here. Um, over the next few days here at LiveWeatherBlocks.com, we will, I know that our, our, our tropical guru, Mike, um, excuse me, Bob and Caffrey will be 
definitely blogging on this, and Rob, myself, and a few others will keep keep you updated on this as it comes along. Let's go to the severe weather sector. Here's our outlook for the day on Tuesday. We can see Boston, Philly, Atlantic City, Dover. They're going to be in the area projected for severe weather. Isolated tornadoes also still possible in the area as a slow rise up the coast. And beyond that, we're going to have to watch Florida and then again along the Carolina coast as we get further into the week for the probability of more possible severe weather. Davidson risk factor for the day on Tuesday, and this will include New Jersey, Philadelphia, New York City. Tornado probability is 20%. Hail, 20%. Wind, 70%. Wind going to be your primary threat. Isolated tornadoes. Take a look on your overnight here. 61 degrees overnight here in Roanoke Valley. Chance of showers, they'll cut off by the end of the day. 72, 53 Tuesday night. 74 Wednesday with mostly sunny skies, 57 Wednesday night, 73 with chance of showers. If we get any kind of system coming up the coast, this Thursday and a Friday could be, uh, Wednesday night and Friday, I should say, should be something we should watch for changing this forecast over the next, uh, watch for the changing of that, um, especially if the system develops and cuts in closer to the shoreline. We could have definitely some more issues than the issues we have with the storms. Um, if it's a tropical system and it's more inland, we can have wind and rain. So something we got to watch here in the Roanoke Valley, and we will do here at LiveWeatherBlogs.com. Let's take a look at the triad. Showers overnight, 64, 78, chance of showers. And they're ending Wednesday then through Thursday. You're seeing chances of showers. This is going to be in projected to the possible of tropical system that may occur. Uh, 75 Friday, and like I said, this is a changeable forecast possibly too with the, whatever happens with this trop tropical or subtropical system that develops and moves up the coast since all the computer models are projecting something to occur. So we're going to definitely watch it here at liveweatherblogs.com and I'll keep you updated. Any kind of warnings that come out um, that are due to the local area here in the Roanoke Valley, I will then also break in with another blog. Other than that, this is Dean D. Davison, liveweatherblogs.com. Have a great evening.